Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I'm gonna be doing my makeup for my DFA appointment and for my passport picture. So as you can see, this is what it looks like and if you are interested how I achieved this makeup, please keep on watching. So this is the current situation of my face and also the current situation. I'm on a different setting. I am currently in front of the window. My storage unit is beside me. And also, this is my first time doing this kind of video. I'm not really familiar about it. And also my mirror. I have my mirror here that I don't usually use or I will just use the viewfinder to be my mirror. So good luck to me and so help me God. I already did my skincare. Let's just prime my face first. So I'll be using this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Primer. This is the only primer that I have. Um, so far, I do like this primer. It prolongs my makeup actually. So I'm just going to use it on the center of my face. I want to focus this on the center of my face because this is where my face has a lot of uh, pores and also a lot of oil. Now that we are primed, uh, I'll be using this beauty cream from Hyakyao. I have a review on this product. If you guys are interested, I'll be putting it in the cart here or on the description box. I'll be applying this using my cushion puff. I will focus on the center of my face because it is the most problematic. As you can see, I have an active pimple there. But it's okay. I hope um, hindi siya mag-register pag nagpa-picture ako sa passport ko. So please, so help me God. And also, I will be applying two layers of this product. Since this product is not full coverage, so I will be focusing on the problem areas of my face, especially on my cheek area. See, oh, yung mga blemish ko nagngalit na, and also under my eyes, and also in this one. Okay, I'm done with the foundation, and I didn't put the foundation to my neck because this product oxidizes. Later on, it will match the color of my neck. Okay, the next one is the concealer. I'll be using, again, another Maybelline product, which is the Fit Me Concealer. I'll be using this to cover all those blemishes and also hide some redness of my under eye. So that's my big active pimple over there and another blemish over there. And also a little bit here, you know, and over here. Blend it in. And okay, so medyo nabawasan yung redness ng active pimple ko and then this one usually when i do my makeup i do my complexion first din lang ko na sana eh. and also my under eye because it's extra red today i'm going to be powdering my face using this fashion 21 loose powder uh, this one also has spf so hopefully i will not have any white cast on my picture later on so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna be pressing the powder like this, okay? Other people, they just like dust off or they use brush. You can do that too. But as for me, I felt like mas long wearing yung makeup pag pinipress mo siya and mas smooth siyang tignan sa face. And I'm also just using the puff that comes with the powder. I have to look my best in this photo simply because this photo will last me for 10 years. I mean, the validity of our passport is 10 years. So, dapat lang that we should look our best. In next one, I'll be doing my eyebrows. As you can see, I have the ugliest brown in the planet. Um, actually, I don't have any brow products with me right now. I just use eyeshadow to draw my eyebrows and uh, settle it with the brow soap. For my eyebrows, I'm just going to be using this uh, angled brush from Wet n Wild and this eyeshadow palette. Okay. I'll be using this brown one. Uh, this palette is from Daiso. I'm just gonna draw strokes in front and I'm just going to draw the line. I usually go for a straight brow simply because ang lakas niyang makabata. By the way, if you guys are wondering why I'm using brown eyeshadow instead of black one, simply because I did use uh, black uh, brow products in the past 
And unfortunately, ang lakas yung maka Angry Birds sa mukha ko. So, <laughs> I'm just used to using brown eyeshadow. Okay, eyebrows are already filled in. I'm just gonna set it with my brow soap. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this MAC Fix Plus. And uh, using my dirty spoolie, I'm just gonna swirl it like this uh, until it looks pasty. And you will see it has like a laminated brow effect. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm quite generous when it comes to my brow soap. So I just use a lot of product para talagang tumagal siya the whole day. Because it's a hot day today. Malusaw ng lahat. Wag lang yung kilay ko. Charot. <laughs> My eyebrows are done, uh, halfly done actually, because uh, as you can see, there's still gap over here, but I will fill that up later on. Now let's proceed to the eye makeup. Uh, you know, whenever I watch passport or DFA appointment makeup tutorials, everybody is like gearing towards clean girl makeup. Pero when I look at the guidelines of DFA when it comes to makeup, they say that they just mentioned that as long as it's not theatrical. So what I understand with that is that. As long as it's not drag queen-ish, I think it's totally fine to wear eyeshadow. So, what I'm going to be doing today is that uh, I'm gonna be using my go-to orangey uh, peachy makeup because I felt like I look better with this kind of makeup. For the base of my eyes, I'm just using this, uh, this orangey and a little bit glittery single shadow from the face shop. See you. I'm using it. But anyways... Let's dig into this. And I'm gonna be doing it like dito muna. So this will serve as my base makeup. Well, I hope I'm crossing my fingers and I'm praying hard that uh, this will be allowed. I hope. DFA, you don't mind, right? I'll be extending my eyeshadow here because I want to have that egg-yosal. <laughs> egg is that the correct word? Like, usually popular for like Korean makeup style. Egg style. Base shadow is already done. Now let's go and add a little bit of color. This is like a bronzer actually from Sakara. I, I don't think you can find it here because this was just like given to me by my friend. So thank you so much, Jilin. <laughs> but anyway, okay, I'm just gonna put this on the outer part of my eyelid. And this is just to create a uh, dimension on the eyeshadow look. And then I will be extending it down here. Dito lang sa outer layer ng lower lashes ko. This is to create a strong feature for the eyes. Okay, next for the inner part of my eyelid, I, I usually put a glitter shade on this one. However, I already used up the lightest glitter shade on my eyeshadow palette. So I'm just going to use my highlighter. I'm just using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and this is the shade Precious Petals. So let's dig it inside. Ito lang. If you want more pop of colors, you can actually spray your brush and then dip it in here para mas lalo siyang mag bling. Also, I'll be doing the same down here again to highlight my aegosol. And also, you know, to make my eyes look more alive and less tired and at the same time look younger na rin. <laughs> again nandito na naman po tayo so look younger guys i'm so sorry done with the glitters and i'm back with the blending brush that i used a while ago and i will just brush everything in. i didn't put any new eyeshadow in this brush i just want to blend everything in para mas smooth siyang tignan so see i'm just like going back and forth yan para mas lalong blended tignan yung eye makeup natin almost done with the eyeshadow i'll just apply this eyeliner and this one is from caroline this is the graph ink liner um i'll do it off camera simply because i need prayers and i need 100 percent concentration when i'm doing my eyeliners so i'll be back okay i'm done with my eyeliner already bad news <laughs> this is already almost dried out so it took me a lot of layer and took me a lot of time in order to um achieve this one and as you can see hindi siya pantay but you know what that's 
totally fine. My eyes uh, in the first place is hindi naman talaga sila even. So, you know, if my eyeliner doesn't get even, then it's totally fine. It's all good. Personally, for my eye shape, big lugin kasi yung eyes ko. So, I always have to put eyeliner uh, like to elongate my eyes and to look complementary dun sa shape ng mukha ko. Done with the eye makeup. Now, let's go to the cheek department. I'm not going to contour. So, I'm just going to apply my blush. And for my blush, I want to follow the theme of like orange thingy. So, I will be using this Caroline uh, Oil Control Blush. And uh, this is the shade Peach Glow. I'm just gonna use the applicator that it comes with to apply this product. This is actually a matte blush. So, hindi siya ganun ka glowy. Uh, I'm also applying this on my nose because that's the trend right now. Like I was saying, this is a matte blush. So, hindi siya ganun ka glowy. But, I will be applying highlighter later on. So, this should be fine. Also, I'm going to apply it on a higher point of my face to make my face look more lifted. So, I'm just gonna smile and apply it like that. I usually extend it until here. And here. And that one. Okay, so this is the blush. Now, let's move on. I don't usually bronze my face, but I contour my nose. So, going back to the bronzer and the blending brush that I was using a while ago, I'm gonna just get a little of this product and contour my nose. So, in contouring, I'll just start here and then draw like this. It doesn't matter kahit medyo makapal yung contour mo because I will be fixing it later. As you guys can see, medyo nasobrahan ako ng nose contour but that's totally fine. Halatang fake na fake yung ilong ko. So, I'm just gonna use my cushion puff. I didn't add any new foundation. This is as it is and I'm just gonna blend it. Here. Yan, para mabawasan yung yeah, nose contour ko. Yeah, and then also, since we're already here, and then I'll just gonna buff it here. Yeah. There you go. So, see? Ayan, medyo okay na siya. Time for my favorite part, which is the highlighter. Again, I'm just using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow. This is the only highlighter that I have. So, I'm just gonna highlight the high points of my face. And I also like putting highlights here on the side of my forehead. Ayan. And then, this one. And usually, I just like to extended over here para parang pinagpawisan ka lang parang glow within lang diba next for my nose i'm just going to use my fingers and apply the tip and then over here and so ayoko nang parang straight up na ganun na highlight this one will make it look like medyo matangos or pointier yung nose mo and there. Pagan pa natin. And also, I want to put on my Cupid's bow and on my chin area. Since we're already in the highlighter, let's add more highlighter on here in the inner corner of our eyes. Make it para mas lalong magmukang buhay and nakatulog tayo sa pictures natin. And hindi lang sa pictures, sa personal din. And I like doing this. And Again, to emphasize or enhance the strong feature of my eyes. Especially now that we are wearing mask, we should have a very strong eyeshadow and eyebrow game. And again, I want to highlight my aegisal. And final touches, I have this blending brush that I just used a while ago and blend everything in together. Para smooth yung transitions ng mga color sa eyeshadow. Uh, same with the lower lashes. Ngayon ko lang napansin, munti ko na palang makalimutang magmascara. But anyway, I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I'm using the Nichido Curl Lash. For my mascara, I'm using the Maybelline New York Falsies Lash Lift. Look at the difference between the first layer. See, oh, this is the first layer with mascara and this is without mascara. 
So, done with the mascara. As you can see, um, talagang na-volumize yung aking lashes. And I'm not going to put mascara uh, on my lower lash line simply because I have a very watery eyes. Um, although this is a waterproof mascara and I'm using a full face of makeup. So, I don't want to risk having panda eyes, especially if my passport picture. I'm just going to remove my lip balm. Okay. For the lips, I'm planning to make it monochromatic. I'm planning to put an orangey shade on my lips. Unfortunately, yung orange na uh, lipstick ko, it's not transfer proof. So, I need a transfer proof or mask proof na lip product simply because I'll be wearing mask when I go out and I will be removing it when I, I take my photo in the DFA. So, this is the only uh, transfer proof uh, lip product that I have which is Maybelline Infallible uh, Pro Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick. This is 368 Matador. So, what I'm going to do with this one is that I'm just gonna put a small dot on my lips. And then, just blend it like that. So as you can see, uh, medyo okay naman. Medyo decent naman yung uh, itsura niya. Although hindi niya ka shade yung uh, makeup ko, it's still okay. It's not transferring. This lip product is also long lasting. I'm gonna be going back to my brows to fill them in. Bago ko sila makalimutan. Kasi as you can see, they are one seat apart. So I'm just using this uh, Happy Skin Perfect Brow Long Lasting Liquid Pen. So I'm just gonna fill this in like that. What I do like about this is that it creates an illusion of, of an eyebrow hair. Because of the stroke. And so the last step, make this face long lasting. I'm just gonna be spraying my trusty MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. So this will help prolong the makeup. Since it's really hot outside, I need to set my makeup in place. Alright, that's it. So this is my makeup to go to the DFA for my passport appointment. What do you guys think? I hope siguro naman papasa to sa DFA, right? Because this is not a theatrical makeup. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Kahit medyo wala na makakwenta-kwenta tong video na to. But I hope you still learned something from this. Meron ba? If you come across this video and you made it until the end, please comment down below if you learned something from this video. Anyway, all the product that I use will be down at the description box. And if you enjoyed this video, you learned something from this video, you find it really helpful, uh, please give a thumbs up on this video. And also subscribe if you want. But as usual, no pressure. Thank you so much uh, for taking out some minutes of your precious time to watch this video. I highly appreciate it and it means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next one. Bye-bye!